Hi everyone. So I have started a series where we will discuss how to write a blog. This series is specially dedicated to the beginners who just want to start writing a blog. So this is a quick video and this is the first video of our series. So let's get started. In this video, I will discuss some discuss some elements, some important elements which is required in blogging. So let's get started and see first what are the elements. So these are the important and basic elements of the blog. On the first line, you you can see H1, which is heading one. So this is the actually a main heading of your blog, which you can say that it is your keyword, and you can say that it is your actual blog title. Then the second the second one is overview of blog. So after writing a title, you have to mention the whole overview, like what things you will discuss in your blog. So you have to give a rough hundred words of overview. Then the third one, which is not mandatory, like let's suppose you have a written a blog and your blog is too lengthy, then you have typed some links here so that any user came and if he requires to go to the section three or section four, he just click on that link and just go to section three. I will show you a reference of blog where you will see understand how what is the actually scroll links. So let's move next. After that, a blog consists of H2 heading and paragraphs. Now, only a, a single blog only have a single H1 heading. Now, other headings, if you want to define that are H2, which is heading 2, which is smaller size than H1. Then after H2, you always have to consider a paragraph. Let, let's suppose here I have type what is blog and after that I have to type here the information about like what is blog, the definition of the blog same let's suppose here i have type advantages of blog this is my heading which i am referring with h2 then here i will type like uh, advantages of paragraph same let's suppose you have one more subheading so how you can define that you can define that with h3 h3 is a tag which which represents heading 3 same you can type paragraph here and then conclude your paragraph so these are the basic and important elements that should include in your blog so now let's understand this in detail. So this is the actual blog which I have right. So in the first tab, as I told you H1. So H1 means the size of that heading. So this is the title. You can say that blog title. You can say that H1 heading or you can also say that primary keyword. I, I will also cover what actually primary keyword in our upcoming videos where will I where I will show you how to do keyword research then you will know why we are saying this is a primary keyword print scenario you just have to understand what is blog title h1 heading so they both are same now this is as I told you the second part of our blog is overview of your blog this is an overview as you can say see in this how to install our Linux blog we will cover how to build Arch Linux, what are the prerequisites. So this is an overview of my blog in which I will cover. Now, the thing is scroll links. So these are the scroll link. These are the actual link. Let's suppose if I click on what is Arch Linux, it will drag me there. What is Arch Linux? Or let's suppose if I suddenly click on Arch Linux download, it will directly take me to the Arch Linux download. So these are the scroll links. As I said, this is not mandatory because this blog is too long. That that's why I have mentioned these scroll links here. If your blog is not too long, just let's suppose it is just for four to five headings. It is not mandatory to do that because these are only used to increase the user experience. So if you clicked anywhere, you will move to the down section. Now let's move another thing. Now what is Arch Linux? This is the heading two. Now the rest of his paragraph again arch linux linux system requirements again it's heading to and here you can see these are these are again paragraph again if you can see here arch linux download again it is heading to and these are paragraph now the interesting thing is here you can see it is external link what is actually external link so this is also important to mention in your blog let's suppose in your blog you also have one external link what is this external link let's suppose i, I have uh, written a blog in this and i want to show how to download arch linux so here whenever a user click on arch linux he will directly go to the arch linux website 
the official website of Arch Linux and at that time they can download so this link is referring from my internal to the external link let to the external website that's why it's known as external link let's suppose I have two blogs and uh, and I have mentioned you can go to my next blog if you want to do anything so the if I if, if you go to the second blog it means it is internal link because you are not sending your like client or your viewer to the another website you are just sending to the another of your blog it means it is internal linking so this is a basic difference between external link and internal link and you can mention more than five six internal links in your blog depending on how much related or how it's required is it required or not depending on your blog and it is mandatory to at least define one external link you can go for two but not more than two is required so here i am again showing you an another example of a live blog this is a live blog not an image so again this is another blog having h1 heading an overview a blog is long so have it have scroll links this is the h2 heading then again this is the paragraph you can include photos again h2 heading paragraphs photos and like same you can also define table as i have defined table if it is your requirement you can also define table inside your blog as i have defined now let me show you how scrolling actual working let's suppose i i want to go to this section this section is at the end and the user just want to see the commonly asked question the main thing he have to scroll and scroll and scroll and then he, they can go to the last section but we make things easy for the user so that he can always came to us so that's if we click just here he directly go to that section which is commonly asked questions so this is how scrolling work so you can also define the commonly asked questions if your blog have some related references you can define that let's suppose i will take you to the same blog uh, that one blog so if we go to just the last section of that blog you can see again these are commonly asked questions and here i have also mentioned related blog this is the related blog you can say that this is an internal blog which will take you to the next blog which is my own blog see internal blog we are in same website that's why it is an internal blog let's suppose uh, here i also have mentioned in this blog that linux blog you can just go to the top of the section here i've also mentioned about external this is external link if i clicked here it will take me to the another website it means is it, it is an external link so this is how things are working this is just an overview in our upcoming videos we will see how actual you can write a blog how are other things and other important things which we can see in our blog section Thank you.